In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use multiple cameras in one animation. Let's press Shift A to create a teapot. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add on called Extra Objects. Control 3 to subdivide. Right click and shade smooth to smooth the surface. Press numpad 0 to camera view. If your keyboard doesn't have the numpad, please go to view, cameras, and active camera. Press shift, tilde, to freely move around while in the camera view. Use, E, to go up, and, Q, to go down. Try using, W, A, S, D, keys to move around. Let's add more cameras. G and Y to move on the Y axis. Let's press Shift A to create a curve circle. If you don't see that in the menu, Please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. Let's click the 3D button, and, S, to scale. I'll add the last camera, and use constraints to animate it like this. Please remember to set the location and the rotation to zero before using constraints. Please click Animate Path. Let's move the animation panel upward a bit. Hover the mouse cursor on the animation panel, and press Ctrl, B, to set the selected camera as an active camera. On the frame 50, let's select the second camera, hover the mouse over the animation panel, and press Ctrl, B, to assign it. On the frame 100, let's select the last camera and follow the same steps to set that as the active camera. Let's go to frame after 50 and before 100, and go to the render camera view of the second camera. Let's use shift, tilde, to free look, and find the teapot. There it is. Let's play the animation to confirm we have three working cameras in this animation. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.